Hi, welcome back to the Cinema Minute. We've just got a really quick first reaction uh, to Captain America Civil War. We've literally just got out of the cinema about 15 minutes yeah, ago. The quickest trailer oh, review you've ever seen. Yeah. Ever seen. Um, yeah. <laughs> really quick one. Um, we're going to do a spoiler special as well. Yeah. Um, so once that's live, click here. <laughs> but till then, do I was going to say, <laughs> unless, yeah, you know, I can't figure out YouTube probably. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I promise. Um, yeah, so in a couple of days, uh, because this one still isn't out in America yet, so. Yeah, we don't want to spoil it for any fans anywhere from. And yeah, it is for a release date. Watching, for, so. Yeah, it is for a release date in the UK too, so um, yeah, we'll keep people unspoiled for a few days uh, just to get you ready, just to get you hyped as well. You need to know this, so Chris, what did you think? Um, I think we both went into this with really <laughs> high expectations. And um, what both Team Cap were might add, we're really I Yeah. I definitely went in as Team Cap. Team Cap. Um, but now... But we'll see know, if your allegiance is... Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more conflicted. We're not um, making any spoilers yet, but the film plays with your mind. It, it changes allegiances. You see a lot of things that you you don't expect to see. Um, yeah, absolutely. We'll keep this non-spoilers uh, again till that next episode, till everyone's definitely seen it. But, wow, yeah, it definitely lived up to it. All the expectations. Yeah. I mean, you know, the hype of this film has been pretty huge. Absolutely. Uh, it's been getting five star reviews in magazines yeah, like Empire. Well. Um, it's currently at 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, I think. So, you know, the hype is pretty huge. Um, you know, even Unlike the last time with Batman versus Superman, uh, the yeah. hype was there at the beginning, the excitement, and then it kind of went downhill from there. I think this is going to last. I was going to say, yeah, this one, for me, this one, every problem that was wrong with Batman versus Superman. For, you know, we talked about that um, in a few episodes back, the fact that the drama wasn't there, the conflict wasn't there, you know, it kind of felt a bit forced. Um, this did everything perfectly in that same sort of situation. And, yeah. you know, because we've really carried these characters for so long, because you care about literally everyone, you know, yeah. like from the big ones, from Cap and Iron Man to, you know, the more supporting characters to even like characters we've seemingly even just met. Absolutely. Like, you know, when Ant Man comes into it, even characters who are introduced here and are amazing. Again, Black Panther, yeah. I want to go and see Black Panther now. Yeah, immediately. Spider Man, I want to go and see Spider Man <laughs> now. <laughs> I don't know, like. It did a really good job of portraying the characters. Um, like, I'm not going to spoil anything like that, but the role they played in the film was just absolutely spot on for each each character as well. Um, my favourite portrayal of Spider Man by far and away now. I was going to say, yeah, this really bodes well. Again, you know, uh, again, no spoilers to what he does, but we see. You know, you've seen him in the trailer, we see a bit more of him here. He's still just a supporting character, but yeah. so wow. ready for that film where he's Show the lead. Show steal. And it's quite good. I love the title of the new film, Spider-Man Homecoming, as well, because it really did feel like that as well. I say, well I'm sure we'll screen. be talking about that plenty, plenty more. Don't, don't <laughs> want to spoil much it's more. It's definitely but... gone to the top of my yeah. expectations. Definitely. Um, um, what else do you think? What? Just some initial things, again, spoiler free, but what really grabbed yeah. you about this um, one? There is a lot of jumping back and forward in the film. Um, we'll go back in time. We we'll see a few um, like precursors at the beginning of the film, like a, a bit of a standard for uh, superhero films now. Um, but it really does exactly like Chris says. Um, we talk about that length about the Batman versus Superman and all the problems it did have, and I defended it uh, wholeheartedly. But this is blurred out of the water because there's there's a lot going on in the film, but it's so perfectly set out that you can follow it so well. Um, but so many fights, so many battles, it's crazy. Um, I was going to say, it was relentless. Again, you relentless. know, when the credits come up, and, you know, we're sitting there waiting for the post credit <laughs> scenes, but two, make sure you're still at the end. Um, you know, just when we're sitting there, I was like, I'm exhausted. Like, it literally <laughs> felt like, I, like, it's still kind of processing in yeah. here, you know what I mean? Um, I can still see when I blink. <laughs> it's still gonna going to be on. like waking up in the middle of the night like oh my god do you remember when post traumatic <laughs> <stress. laughs> literally yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it totally delivers like it's yeah. such a again Russo Brothers returning for this one who did um, Captain America Winter Soldier and are next doing uh, Avengers Infinity War mm -hmm. 1 and 2 um, you know I think they really just love this universe oh, absolutely. I like mean, you know it, yeah, with, you with, with Joss Whedon um we all knew it was in good hands with Joss Whedon setting up this massive story out across like all of the films. Um, but the Russo brothers have kind of blew it out the wall with the last two films. Um, they've done such a good job with this one as well. It's the look of it and the feel, but also like the dramatic tone and you feel sorry for people. You, mm. you really, you, your allegiance has changed, I suppose. That's it, yeah. It's like, you know, it's a proper emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Whichever team you come in, 
based on who's your favourite character or your sort of the morality you might come in with it you know that is really challenged for it but that doesn't mean it's a full on drama again the no, fight scenes are like phenomenally well done yeah. it's funny like literally oh, yeah. moments so in funny. the film where the whole cinema was laughing <laughs> um, which you know again some f- when the last big big film which we thought was Batman vs Superman when it was so serious for out again yeah. to have people excited and not just excited at joke moments like fight scenes being enjoyable yeah. when they need to be enjoyable but fight scenes also being emotionally charged when they need to be emotionally charged and that's a real skill um, absolutely like it's normally all about spectacle um, a lot of these it's just the big fight scene in the third act um, but th- this time it's kind of different you kind of feel you don't want somebody to win or you want somebody to lose and mm. a lot of situations in that um, that's the thing you, you s- s- go in loving all these characters and you come out with all I'm of them torn. Developed. I'm torn I and really yeah. am <laughs> that's the thing again where Superman and Batman both Batman went wrong is and we touched on this a little bit is that you ended up not liking Superman anymore or knowing any more about him yeah. and here all the characters are so well balanced um, again obviously for Russell Brothers uh, background being in television you know directing community yeah. community cameo in here as well <laughs> with the uh, you, you'll get it any community fans um, but yeah so many so much to enjoy so much to recommend uh, visually yeah. stunning Character wise, amazing, fantastic fights. Not just possibly, you know, would you say, where does it rank in your Marvel? It's got to be It's got to be just below Winter Soldier. Um, Winter Soldier is very special because if you took all the suits out, it would be a mint espionage film. Mm. But cause this has to have the suits, but I'd say it, it's just in the Winter Soldier for me. That's it, you know, um, oh, for me, I don't know. I still, yeah, 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 this I've is something more. maybe I'll come back to. I'm going to have to ponder it for a yeah, couple of days. But um, yeah, it totally delivers it's you know it's a perfect talking about Russell Brothers coming from TV it feels like a perfect series finale it gets everyone <laughs> it does, together it really does. and you know it it ties up a load of things and yeah. but equally it's like gives you so much cliffhangers yeah um, exactly. but you know you want to see all those other films now yeah. you want to see the next Avengers you want to see all of them back <laughs> all again. in one go and yeah you know I would go and watch it now yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah that's but yeah this so, is something that really delivers for me. And again, yeah, same. Uh, exactly the same as Chris says, it really delivers. But probably the most important thing you want to know is what our ratings are. So, what would you rate it out of 10? Um, I'm not sure. What do you think? I'm going to give it a solid 10. I have to give it a solid 10. Yeah, I, I can't criticize it. I don't think star rating. Five stars, right? I do like, stars. I would go. It's like a McDonald's when you get higher up the ranks. I was going to say, yeah, this film's been promoted <laughs> up to. Five star McDonald's, <laughs> right? I was going to say, yeah. But, We've done the fry cook, we've done the whole, the whole nine yards. Um, we've done fries, we've done this, we've done ice cream, <laughs> McFlurry. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, this has definitely, definitely done its full training, but in my case, it's, you it's know, it's five really... stars. I would give it five stars as well. It's just because I'm actually sitting here now trying to rack my mind about any criticism. Oh, yes, I do have one criticism, but I kind of talk about it until yeah. the next episode. We've talked about this already <laughs> in the car coming back, and I disagree. So <laughs> we'll get to that again. Uh, make sure you do subscribe, make sure you do click on that link. Again, we'll have it up yeah. here once that second episode goes live. This is our spoiler-free special. That'll be our spoiler-filled special. Yeah. But again, final thoughts, just to round off. Uh, fantastic. That's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> Short and sweet. I can't argue with that. Um, but yeah, it really, if you're a Marvel fan, this will live up to your expectations. Yeah. I would really struggle to see people coming out of this film and not, not feeling right. like it's delivered. Um, if you've just seen it in the UK as well, please let us know what you think in the in the comment section as well. Yeah, it's uh, the cinema was packed when we were there. Yeah. And it looked like every screening was too, so I'm sure plenty of you have seen it by now. Um, before that new episode comes out, let us know your thoughts and check back soon for our spoiler filled special on Captain America Civil, yeah. uh, Civil War. Because you know what happened? No, we'll save it. We'll <laughs> <laughs> and nice. the ending went no, we'll save it. <laughs> See you soon. See you later, Thanks. bye.